I am really in love with this question, because although it looks so scary, and if you try to solve it using algebra by squaring both sides, you will quit math forever. And if you think I am lying, try to put it in an online equation solver, and you will end up with this quartic equation after hundreds of steps. But I have found an elegant geometry solution for the same, which will make you fall in love with math all over again. So, can you find all the real values of x? Okay, in order to solve it using geometry, make a right triangle like this, such that the hypotenuse of this triangle is the same as under root of this value, or root 12 by x. Now, if we make the base of this triangle as this under root part, then what will be the value of this side of the triangle? Label it as h. So, using our favorite right triangle theorem, we get root 12 by x whole square equals this square plus h square. It will be 12 over x, and this will be 12 over x minus x, and this plus h square. Wow, it gets canceled out, and we are left with h equals root x. Great. Now make another right triangle like this, such that this side of the triangle is the same as this root 12 minus x. So what will be its hypotenuse? Label it as r. So we have r square equals root x square plus root of 12 minus x square or x plus 12 minus x or 12. So r equals root 12. Awesome. Now here comes the magic. What will be the length of this piece? This will be the sum of this plus this. But this sum is equal to 12 over x. So, replace it with 12 over x. Now, what will be the area of this triangle? It will be the same as base times its height by 2, right? So it will be root x times 12 over x by 2, or 6 over root x. Now, if I assume that this big triangle is a right triangle as well, then is my assumption correct? Let us find it out. If this is indeed a right triangle, then its area can also be given as this base or root 12 times this height, or root 12 over x by 2, which will be the same as 12 over root x by 2, or 6 by root x. That is so cool because it is the same value which we found out here, and therefore our assumption was correct that this is indeed a right triangle, which means we can use the right triangle theorem for the same. So, root 12 over x whole square plus root 12 square equals 12 over x whole square. This becomes 12 over x plus 12 equals 12 square over x square. Divide both sides by 12 and multiply by x square to get x square plus x equals 12. This will be x times x plus 1 equals 3 times 4, or negative 4 times negative 3. So, this gives x equals 3, or x equals negative 4. Therefore, this is our solution. My mind is literally blown right now. So good.